I'm in our pole barn working on our kind of stealth pole barn room conversion where we're turning this section of our pole barn into a multi-use space, kind of a, a cozy hangout room. So I've been making some progress on it and yesterday I did a lot of work but I didn't film any of it so I just wanted to show you guys. Look at the top of the walls here, right around the edges, you can see insulation. I added insulation where the roof meets the wall. There was a little gap there, I filled that in. That took a long time, even though it doesn't look like it, but I did that. And I also finished up some wiring in the barn. I'm not going to show that. I put those outlets in place. And then I went to the store. This is big. I picked up all the insulation I need for the walls in here. All of it, I think, if I add it up correctly. So I'm really excited to get working on that project. In fact, if I turn you guys around, you'll see I have the car in here and the insulation. And you might notice that this insulation is not pink. I'll explain that later. But before I can get any work done, I gotta do some stuff outside because this happened. It is snowing and it is snowing good outside. So yeah, I have to go snow blow because we can't get to the mailbox and neither can the post office. So I want to clear that off and um, we'll see what happens today. see cleared it out pretty good a little sloppy but it's clear straight out to the road and then around our mailbox it's gonna get covered back over but as long as the post office can get through that's all that matters I think before I go in I'm gonna tackle one wall of this room getting the insulation up So I've been looking at this wall. I was standing here last night getting a plan together of how I was gonna insulate it. Seems pretty straightforward. Throw the insulation on there and nail it up. But we have the doorway there, so I think I'm gonna start by framing the door out. Let me show you. Okay, so we have the door frame. And the insulation is gonna be an inch and a half thick on this wall. You see, so it's gonna be coming up to this door and you're gonna have this edge here. So I'm thinking about building out the doorway with some two by fours, bigger than this, but like here, and then butting the insulation up to it, and then I'll have something to hook trim and stuff on, and it'll cap off the insulation. That's my plan. Okay, I have a good plan. I know what I'm doing, and I just spent a lot of time bringing my saw in here and getting ready to cut wood, and the power's out. We have no power, but I still have my battery tools, so I can still keep working. Just wasting time. So, let's get cracking. I got these two by three boards. I'm just gonna cut them, put them just like that. I gotta cut these shims off to get that one in, but you get the point, right around there. Then I'll have a good measurement to cut my foam to. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, we just got power back. Did you see that?
So I gotta share with you guys something really cool that I found at the store. Previously when I hung this insulation on the ceiling, I didn't know what to fasten it to the roof with. So I ended up looking around for these cap nails that I was familiar with and I could only find a two inch long nail at the store and it barely grabbed that insulation. I could use these for this too and I might because I already have them, but I wanted to show you something awesome I found. So these were hiding somewhere else in the store and I didn't see them before. This is the first time I've ever seen them. And they're basically these plastic discs and they're made to go into the insulation. Let me show you. So you have your wall board and then you just pop this into it and you use any fastener you want like these screws to go right in there and when you drill it in it'll flatten right out and hold the insulation in place and I think that is really awesome because those other things these things just weren't cutting it and again I might use them anyway but I picked those up to experiment with because I really like this idea that I can use any fastener I want depending on what I'm going into. It could be a nail, it could be a screw, it could be any type of screw. So pretty neat, happy I found those. I'm just gonna use up these because I already spent the money and I can I can still make it work. It, you know, it only goes into the wood a half an inch but it's better than nothing. I probably just messed up my first now. Let me let me check something. I'm seeing I'm seeing that the floor is sloping this way, so I don't want these to staircase at the top. I might have to raise this one up a little bit so that they're all level on the top. Let me check that first. Ah. Alternatively. I mean, it definitely staircases. I could just cut the bottom of it at an angle. Let me see where it's sitting at the top. Those screw fasteners work awesome. Really like those. But um, I'm gonna continue on with the nails. We're making good progress already on the wall. I'm happy with it. Hey, what are you doing? That's a big hand. I want to go inside. Is it cold out there? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna lose in the grass. Hey, Belly. Hi. Ooh, look at this winter wonderland out here. And it just keeps coming down. I got the main wall done. Now I'm just gonna do this peak and over the door. I got one more sheet down here. I'm gonna to try to cut the angle to fit. Hopefully I can get this right. No mess ups. I'm not doing this right. 
but it's not bad. The good news is I was cutting it too big, but not too small. So ha hopefully we have it right this time. It's gotta be close. Wow, my hands are getting cold. Right, let's get some nails in it. Right there. Feels like an awesome fit. Awesome. That's weird. Is that food? Is that a little bit food inside? No. What, Belle? I gave them the same place. So, Belle is outside finding caterpillars in the snow, believe it or not. She found two of them. I don't know how she does it. But look at this. I'm done with this wall. This came out perfect and excellent. I'm totally happy with it. I'm probably going to tape the seams. Not today. It's just too cold in here and who cares but uh, we'll tape all the cracks, but they're actually really, really tight, so they're, I'm happy with that. I spray foamed around the edges. I have no idea if I could spray foam when it's 30, 32 degrees out. Um, probably not, but I did it. We'll see if it expands and cures. I have no idea what happens if you put it in this cold weather. Yeah, one wall done. One wall insulated in the barn. The rest will come another day. One step closer to finishing. So let's get inside the house and warm up now and we'll talk inside. That little tiny thing? Yeah, that's the third one I found under our oak tree on the snow. That is weird. Why would there be caterpillars this time of year? No idea where they're coming from. Hi. You ready to do a video? Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we had a big snow day, but at least we got our supplies in the barn before the snow came. I really went out the other night knowing the snow was coming. Ashley told me it was going to snow and I said we better get out and get everything we needed before we get snowed in and everything's a mess. So I got some work cut out for me for the next few days, week, we'll see. But today was big progress getting that one wall done. It makes me feel like this is doable. I can get that room done. And uh, I wanna show you the other insulation I got and explain that, so stay tuned for that if you care about that process out there. But we decided to come in, it's nighttime, we're hanging out, and so again, we're just gonna chat, share what's new. And we haven't had the kids on for a little while, so we thought we'd let them join us tonight, right? You're going to say hi to everybody? Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. So Belle finally joined us. Um, how's everything been going? Good. Fun fact, today we had enchiladas for the first time in our lives, I think. Enchiladas? Enchiladas? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, my first time. We thought it would be a fun little thing to try. They so, were good. That's something new. And something else new that we've been doing, because it's like, we're in Michigan, it's winter, you guys can see the snow outside, we're getting stuck in the house, we're going a little crazy. So we got into this fad, I guess, but we got into this new thing that we've been enjoying. We're like 20 years too late to it, but we've been playing with Beyblades. And for some reason, 
it's a long story. I won't get into how this came about, but we went to the store and we picked up some and we've been having a lot of fun playing with them. So here, Maverick, take yours. You can give Belle hers. Um, we each got one and I'll show you mine first. Of course, I got black. There's my design. I don't know if I'm catching Belle's face. It won't focus on it if they see us. So I got the cool black one. There's Ashley's. You want to show them yours? Show, show them your top. <laughs> you got to do it over here in front of this. Mavericks. Do it in front of this thing. That's okay. So Mavericks is pretty cool. Yeah. And Bell's is gold, her favorite color. So basically, this is what we do. This is the kind of stuff we do in our free time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you want to have a battle? Yeah. So you, this is the thing and you, you put this in and then you put this on and you just pull the thing. Okay. Oh. Don't hit it, okay? Okay. One, two, three. It was almost the top. Almost. I think I won that one. Ready, set. You won. Two. Oh. Sometimes they break. Ashley won. You see what they do? They explode like that. They have a random chance of exploding like that, and that's kind of neat. All right, one more. We'll do one more. Do, do mine. Okay, I'll do yours. You want to do it? You want to battle me? Or do you want to battle Belle? Do it with Belle. Go ahead, Belle and Maverick. Ready, set, go. Whoa, Maverick won. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect him to win. Good job. I did it. Yep. Mm. One more game with Belle. One, two. Bell one. One. We're gonna go super hard. One, two. That was a that tie. That was a weird one. That was a tie. Yes, let me do it. You want to do mine? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to? Mm -hmm. All right, here. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that went too far away. Let me you, get it set up for you. Where did you go too far away? I don't know. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. That was so <laughs> I won. <laughs> yeah. Oh. One, two, Mine exploded when yours stopped spinning. 
Who do you think won? That was like a tie. So that's been pretty fun. Actually, you get sucked into it when you start playing. You just keep going and going and doing all stuff. So they've been having fun with it, right? Yeah. Something new. You just got to try new things to keep yourself entertained sometimes, keep your mind stimulated. A couple of new things we thought we'd share, and I don't think there's anything else. You've been working on any special projects lately? I've been drawing a new picture. Have you? Mm -hmm. I still need to pen it out and color it. So maybe a new picture coming soon. Um, I guess that's all we have for today. We really appreciate you guys coming along and following our journey. I'll probably keep working on that barn room, getting that done little by little, and yep. just sharing the updates of the day. I think that's it. So thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with another video. And until next time, take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>